Zelda Echoes of Wisdom lets you play as Princess Zelda for the first time. Zelda has certainly featured more prominently in the recent games, but has never been playable. So the biggest change to the gameplay, compared to the standard Zelda games, is that she doesn't have a sword or shield. Instead, she is equipped with a staff, given to her by the mysterious Tri. This staff is capable of making echoes, clones of objects or enemies in the world. This is where you see the influence of Tears of the Kingdom, using everyday objects in the world to solve puzzles and defeat enemies. Zelda later accesses Link's sword and shield, however she can only use it on a limited basis. Because it drains so quick there's not a lot of point using it on standard enemies, it's best reserved for bosses or mini bosses. The world of Hyrule features the same cartoon art style as the Link's Awakening remake, however it is far larger and more varied. This does seem to have an impact on frame rate, so my first impressions are quite mixed. I like the uniqueness of the main gameplay mechanic, however you have so many options with the various echoes, it's hard to know what to use in any given scenario. I think this is my main issue with the game, which is stopping me from fully enjoying it. I feel like I solve puzzles that beat enemies completely randomly, just throwing a bunch of stuff together and hoping something works. Zelda is also pretty damn defenceless, and I feel some of the enemies are more OP than they normally would be. So I find myself using an amped up Moblin or a similar high level ally and hide in a corner while they duke it out. Not massively enjoyable. Given the high hit damage of enemies, I'm also continuously travelling to the smoothie merchant and buying a thousand drinks just to be able to meaningly top up my health. My other gripe so far is the difficulty of the puzzles. I've just completed the second dungeon and other than the boss, it was like Zelda for toddlers. All of the puzzles were relatively easy to solve. I really hope the challenge ramps up a little as the game progresses. So as I said, my feelings on this iteration are mixed. For all the new ideas, there are other concerns that make it less enjoyable than what I would like from my main Zelda title. What do you think so far?